My friends, in a fight between an angle grinder and your knuckle, the angle grinder wins pretty much every time. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just like I needed one more thing. But there were a lot of developments over the weekend, and I'll tell you about all those, plus some video recommendations right after this. Hello my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Monday, April 3rd. No, I didn't do an April Fool's video this year. <laughs> but I'll tell you about one you can watch. Caleb Mills put one out uh, and he did kind of a takeoff on uh, Roy Underhill with the uh, Woodwright Shop. I have a link in the description. Be sure to check that video out. He did a nice job and he did a good job on working on the instrument as well. I mentioned I had a couple of video recommendations. The next one, you may have already seen it because I know a number of you watch my son's channel. He's got a uh, short out on uh, Oliver the horse kicking up his heels. So I've got a link to that short video in the description as well. And finally, there's a video I would like to recommend. I'm not going to tell you much about this one. It's just a heartwarming, uh, wonderful video that I uh, just think the guy uh, deserves some views. His channel is called I Hustle. I'm sure some of you probably watch him. I've been watching him for several months now and uh, I was going to recommend him earlier, but after I saw this particular video I had to recommend it so if you go to any of these videos and watch any of them be sure to tell them that uh, Rosa Stringworks sent you I would appreciate it very much well I showed you my uh, bandaged knuckle there uh, at the beginning and yeah that one kind of hurt <laughs> it's about it's almost as bad as my wife getting her knuckle caught in the uh, bandsaw hers cut was a little bit longer than mine uh, mine was a little bit wider than hers <laughs> Her, she could pull shut with a with a uh, butterfly bandage. Uh, this one, you don't pull this one shut. It's a little bit too wide for pulling shut. It was probably about as deep too. Oh my gosh, yeah. You've seen the sawmill that I uh, built in some of my prior videos. Well, I pulled that out of the barn yesterday afternoon and started uh, cleaning it up and going to make a few improvements on it before I start sawing up all those walnut logs that we cut in the front of our property up there. I'm also planning to saw some oak because I need a floor for her trailer. That's one of the things I'm going to do on my hiatus also is finish up her trailer. Yeah, I got a lot going on and fixing up the sawmill was one of the things I'm going to do on the hiatus. So I'm kind of getting a head start on the hiatus because I've almost got this banjo finished. I still have to uh, work on the nut just a little bit. I'll get this thing finished yet this morning. I've got the new tuning keys on here that aren't broke anymore. So this one will be finished uh, yet this morning and then I've got that guitar to finish and I may get that finished today yet too. And then we've got a fellow bringing a ukulele today. I think he's coming from Ohio and I've got to work on, apparently he's got a broken key or something and I'm going to work on that and see what I can do to, to remedy his situation. And then I think Mitzi uh, from I think Illinois is coming tomorrow bring in a mandolin and I'm not sure if I need to do anything on it or not but that doesn't really matter uh, whatever she wants I'll accommodate I'm sure and uh, she's going to attend the jam with us at Dickie's barbecue pit tomorrow evening so I got a you know fun filled couple of days here packed full of work and all that kind of good stuff so I thought I'd just mention briefly the improvements that I'm going to make to my sawmill. I have put a much larger battery on it. I, I went and got a big deep cycle battery. Uh, this one happens to be a marine battery. And I've had good luck with the deep cycle batteries on my dump trailer. Uh, they work really well for that, so I thought it'd be great for this uh, sawmill as well because my up and down is controlled by battery power it's a turns a screw and moves the whole head up and down so I was using a little lawnmower battery but quite honestly I was stretching that to its limits I mean it worked pretty well but this will be much better in addition to that I am uh, putting on a new belt 
I'm also going to make at least one wh rear wheel removable so that I don't have to step over the wheel or around the wheel as I'm pushing the carriage forward. So I'm going to get the wheel where I can take it off and put it back on fairly easy. It, since I don't pull this on the highway or anything and I only move it around here on the farm, I'm just going to have some kind of a pin through the axle to just pull it right out and put it back in. At least that's my plan right now. I hope that's how it works out. Then I've already uh, uh, made the, a bigger handle for the blade tightening, tensioning. I just had kind of a little L type handle there and uh, you had to put a pipe on it to tighten it up and so I've just welded a little extension on that so it's like a T handle now. It'll be easier to tighten the blade tension. And then lastly I'm going to uh, bring the bed up a little bit with some wood strips on the uh, steel. So I'm going to raise the elevation of the bed by about an inch and a half and the reason I'm doing that is because there are a couple of things the blade can hit as it sits presently. And if I just uh, extend the bed height up an inch and a half or so, then I shouldn't have any more problem with that. So those are the things I'm doing to the sawmill and uh, I want to get all that done before I start cutting those walnut logs. That's going to be about it for today. If uh, the guy gets here with the ukulele uh, early enough today, I'll work on that and maybe have a little video clip of that for tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We will see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.